Ghost of Tsushima's PC port could reportedly surface. It says next week, but it's actually this week. I've not her samurai. Samurai. Ghost of Tsushima was the best game on the PlayStation 4. Oh, bro, hands down, yes. It was so I don't think good. it needs a sequel either. The way they're it gonna, ended? They're gonna, they're gonna fucking make it do it. I mean, every other game's turning to shit, so Sony's like, listen, we need a savior. And uh, they're gonna, they're gonna fucking make them crap one out. You have no honor. All right, so a PC version of 2020s. Ghost of Tsushima could be announced next week, but it does, it is actually this week. So according to Xbox era's Nick Baker, who accurately predicted majority of Sony's recent state of play presentation, he went to Twitter claiming the news is unannounced, but widely expected the port could arrive as soon as Tuesday, March 5th. So that's this week. Yeah. Tomorrow. And, well, yeah, yeah. I guess two oh, days be, from now. It, yeah. yeah, it'll be the sixth for Aussie, yeah. I'm hearing that we might get something about the Ghost of Tsushima PC port pretty soon, maybe around the 5th. Now, does that mean it's going to drop or they're going to announce it? Mm. So Ghost of Tsushima was released in 2020 on the PS4 and later received a director's cut on PS5. Uh, now, Sony's PC output has steadily increased since it first since it first divorced some of its 10 pole single-player releases from the home console. Low, this doesn't appear to have led to sparkling sales. But do you know what did? Helldivers. Yeah, power up. <laughs> um, all these well, I mean, fucking... just from Sony's point of view, hell divers. Yeah, insane, right? Imagine a game that actually fucking isn't being autistic. It, it does well. Man, Sony are fucking autistic. Like, they actually shot themselves in the foot. Xbox was doing nothing to beat PlayStation. And all, the, and all Sony had to do was not go, like, retardedly woke and just make some fucking more banger games and they would have just kept going to the moon because that, that, that's what people were asking for single player games and they were delivering on that front right so if they had just kept making good single player games they would have went to the fucking moon the problem with that though was is they wanted like a dozen live service games they should have just focused on destiny yeah whereas you know, one that's constantly fucking doing well constantly making money then you don't need fucking 12 that are struggling and you just end up competing with each other. Now, last month, the Sony-backed Helldivers 2, a sequel to a niche PS4 and PS Vita game, was released on the PS... On, sorry, on both PC and the PS5 simultaneously. It became a huge success. Yeah, the game's concurrent player easily eclipsed all other PlayStation Studio PC releases combined. That's something we've talked about a lot is how you release your games day one on PC as well, and you just watch that fucking player count. Dude, Go Ghost, as well. Ghost would have been one of the biggest games ever, ever. It would have been a like the one of the biggest things ever if it released day one PC. Like not just mm. PlayStation, everyone, like a lot of Xbox people that have like the Xbox and a PC, right? They would have bought it on PC. Like those motherfuckers, like so it would have more than doubled in sales because of how much fucking people just own a pc no no consoles and people would have loved ghosts like ghost is a fucking masterpiece of the game but yeah i wonder low when this inevitably does go to pc do you think it's gonna beat like god of war 2018's uh player record on steam i think i think because it doesn't have the you know it's not kratos it doesn't have that pool yeah but i think more people and especially after our uh, last of us i think some people might just buy it as a fuck you to neil <laughs> like even though even though even though they have a ps5 and got the director's cut on the ps5 i think some people might just buy it as a fuck you to our uh, last of us so it does better i think i think that might actually end up happening because people laugh their fucking asses off remember all the memes that neil was getting after uh ghost one not the they didn't win but they got the player choice award you know what i mean like the players actually yeah chose ghost right and then dude people were bullying the fuck out of the last of us uh, people right 
I think, and uh, Ghost is one of the most talked about PlayStation games as well, how good it was. And I think if you allow mods, right, if, if, they, if they're going to allow mods, this game will probably go to the fucking moon. Oh, they'll, they'll be mods. They'll be mm. mods, at least on Nexus and shit. There will definitely be mods, man. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to fucking get around that one. But yeah, so this is claiming that we could have something to talk about in two days. I certainly hope that's true. I really, really do hope that's true. Dude, this game's it'll be brilliant. The, this game's I fucking brilliant. love it. And, and when it comes to PC, it'll be the director's cut. So that means you get like the multiplayer and stuff like all, already. Oh, hopefully. how good was this game's fucking multiplayer? Mm. The way like you got gear and shit. This game had a better looter multiplayer than fucking Marvel's Avengers, which was out around the same time. Yeah, isn't that crazy? The multiplayer Crazy. was so fun, dude. That wave defense mode where you could only choose, like, you had, like, all your different equipment. Yeah, that shit was fucking awesome. And you could, like, level up and shit. Like, it was way more in-depth than what it needed to be. People were playing it going, wow, why Why is this game's multiplayer so fucking good? And that's another fuck you to Neil hey. Druckmann. Last of Us 2 multiplayer. What was it called? Mm. Survivors. Where never are that, happened. Neil? Yeah, never happened. <laughs> never this happened. game is just... This game is just a massive fuck you to him, and I love it. That's what, it makes Ghost that much better. And the campaign, I mean, you get to choose to, like, stay, you know, a samurai, or you can kind of diverge, and it kind of changes the story a bit and whatnot. I fucking love that shit, because you can play it twice. You can be like, oh, I'm staying true to the samurai, or I'm going to be a bit more, like, Assassin's Creed. Like, dude, this game is this a is fuck you to Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, dude, this, this game is a fuck you to Assassin's Creed. Creed because everyone was asking for a like Japan t Assassin's Creed and they only started making it because of this game honestly and it still took them it's, years man you know it's coming out later like what next year or this the end of this year and it's gonna be also this is also one of the best Far Cry games <laughs> yeah yeah ridiculous <laughs>